Okay, and second shoot out of the day. This one is the UX482E, um, which I've only got for a short period of time. It's actually up on eBay. Um, it does have a faulty screen. Uh, I might show you that later on. It doesn't really impact on functionality too much. Um, but that's by the by. Um, that is a 16 gig i7 11th gen, and it's up against my laptop of choice for FL Studio, which is uh, 15 inch UX582 with an i9, uh, and I should have checked this, I think it might be ninth generation or 10th generation, I'll put this in the notes, whichever it is, and 32 gigs of RAM. So um, it's an older processor, but it's uh, a better gen, a better model processor, shall we say. So I think this will be interesting. Um, we've also got a bit more memory to play with, um, with the, the larger uh, UX582. Um, but in the past, memory hasn't played that much of a great role because um, this is quite a streamlined FL Studio project. It's not especially memory hungry, um, but just about right to give some good performance metrics, I think. Anyway, <laughs> as ever, I'm starting to babble. Let's get these bad boys off to uh, a start and see how we get on. I need to turn that down a bit, a little bit. Uh, okay, so off the gate we've got uh, 18 on the left and, oh, it's so sorry, <laughs> 12, 11, 12 on the right. So straight away the, um, the newer model was the, um, but the cheaper model is the i7 having to work harder than the older um, i9 processor. Um, memory may be working for it as well, but it's still an interesting comparison. You've now got 17 against 12. Um, the first reading I give you will be the laptop on the left, which is the 482. The second reading will be the one on the right, which is the 582. Um, we're now looking at 22 versus 16. So the uh, 582 on the right having to work considerably less hard, um, as you might expect, I guess. Um, we're moving into a faster sequence now, so a bit more performance overhead. 28 on the left against 21 on the right, 27 against 20 on the right. So I think we've probably got enough there that we can see that the um, it's an older laptop. It's the one I've been using for um, maybe two or three years now. It's a great device. It has a slightly larger screen, which is great when you're playing. And I'll just lift you up. because I think I did this on the last one. Both of these, you can uh, dock the, um, the mixer to the screen and you can play around. Now, this one ha actually has um, a broken screen. You can just probably make out... Well, maybe you can't actually, it's around there. But anyway, I've got control over the right two thirds or so. If I go to this one, I've lost control. There's no touch here. I've got touch on the right. And um, that's why I'm selling this one off uh, quite cheap on eBay. Um, it's probably gone by the time you read this, but you never know. Um, but this is the one, this is my daily driver. And uh, I have um, a smaller mixer layout on here. But still, um, so I've got more tracks I've got access to. But it's great for um, playing around with that's left and right. Left and right panning, mixing, bringing up um, plugins. And you can play around with those. Um, anyway, I have started blabbing. That's not what this video is supposed to be about. I hope you've got something out of it. Um, just to recap. Well, tell you what's interesting there is I can see the um, the keyboard backlight on the 482 is flashing on the video and it's probably refresh rate is lower than the 582 which is also flashing a little bit obviously has a higher refresh rate on the on the backlit keyboard anyway that's by the by just to recap the 582 definitely ahead there with the i9 processor older generation i9 processor I think it's a ninth or tenth generation and I'll put that in the notes just to, just so you're on top of um, where we are with these. And uh, I'll stop blabbering now. I'll call it a day. Thanks very much for your time. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. 
subscribe if you want to see more videos and hit the notification bell if you want to know when those videos come out. Okay, thanks for your time. Bye-bye.